to light a room that they had built out of a shipping container. Uh, basically, the, the level of light in the room is going to be uh, the source of light in the room is going to be natural light from the outside. There are two two main zones in the room. Zone one, where the uh, light's going to come from a window, and zone two, where the, the light's going to come from a light pipe. The light pipe is basically a mirroring device that has an opening to the outside and if it bounces off solar light inside of you, it has a diffuser in the back and it shines the light in the back of the room. Now, if the day is overcast, the amount of light, the intensity of the light in the room won't be enough for humans to perform visual tasks uh, comfortably. So this is where our project comes in. We are supposed to use electric lights to compensate for the deficit of light in the room while still using the least amount of power possible. And the way we're doing this is using dimming ballast to control the, uh, the uh, intensity of the uh, fluorescent lights. Uh, we have a controller that basically samples the amount of light in the room at all times. And so if you see, you see if the amount of light increases, the, uh, the light dims. And uh, if it decreases, the light brightens. Um, when the light's dimmer, it's obviously going to consume less power. Uh, it's brighter, it's going to use some more. Uh, so basically, it's basically trying to find a happy mean between the uh, solar light from the outside and the electric lighting. Uh, also, the blinds here are uh, semi-automatic, um, and the goal is to avoid glare through the blinds while maximizing the amount of light from the outside that comes through. This was done using the microcontroller circuit, which is not here right now. But uh, the lines work on a motor, and we have several uh, steps uh, based on the angle that we want the lines to be on. So you can do the like the steps. Yeah. So, and then we have an override button if the user wants the blinds all the way closed or all the way open. And there it is. So that's basically our problem. So that's uh, the microcontroller would send pulses to those. So every time you press it, it sends a signal to the motor to turn on for a certain length of time. And then two of them are completely on and completely closed. And then the other. You can hold the button down as long as you want. It's still going to send one pulse and then cut off. So it's just been committed. How much light? Or where the, where the sun is? So, is this supposed um, to be done manually onwards? Or is no, there is a microcontroller unit that's going to fix the angle according to the daytime, to the time of the day it is, and the position of the sun so that the glare through the window is minimized while still having the maximum amount of light coming through. And it's basically. Would is this going to be based on that sensor that you have? I'm sorry, what? The ambient light sensor you have? Yeah, this is, this is the light sensor. Uh, the, the, this, the system for the blinds would use a separate sensor uh, because what we want is to minimize uh, glare, but we still want a certain threshold of light through the window. So this is, this is a separate system. So, so it looks like when, when he's using the flashlight over it, it just goes from basically on and off. Does it have more of a dimming set to it? Do you, do you have any like device that has more of a... You can step back, yeah, a little bit. Then. Okay. See. Right. Okay, so you said fluorescents aren't necessarily that good at at threshold voltage, right? Huh? So the fluorescent bulbs are usually not that great at well, dimming. It's, it's, it's also a different device. Right. Like, since we're using this, it's, I mean, we're not yeah. precise, but. When it's, if you see the setup that's actually out in the Riverside campus, uh -huh. when, when it's, it's connected with the light pipe and everything else, you can actually see when, say, if a cloud goes over, okay. uh, you'll actually see okay. the level, the lights right. bright. Which you've got kind of on a, well, on this a demo. This is just uh, a video of this demonstration that we're doing. Oh. All right. Yeah, I, I just noticed, I was like, oh, wait, he's got there. And, 